Hey guys, Sam here from Sam Unlocks. So today I got the iPhone 7 Plus, 6S Plus, and the iPhone 6 Plus. We are doing a Heatbench 4 uh, benchmark review on all four, three of them, just to see where they stack up against each other. So the iPhone 6 Plus starting with the uh, A8 processor, dual core with one gig of RAM, the iPhone 6S Plus with A9 processor with two gigs of RAM, and the, finally the iPhone 7 with the A10 Fusion, 2.34 gigahertz with three gigs of RAM. I'm really excited to show you guys what this stack up against and how far you we've come. So let's get started with that. Just gonna do that. Um, so it doesn't really matter if I start all three at once because at the end of the day, each one is uh, doing its own performance test. It's not like we're doing some sort of um, application launch test or anything like that. So the battery life on these ones uh, is a little bit on the lower end, but it shouldn't affect the Geekbench score overall much. Um, the other thing I do want to note is uh, these two are running 10.0.2, and this is running the latest, latest iOS 10.1, I think it is. Uh, but it's the latest one. The last update came out yesterday, um, October 24th. In 2016, just in case somebody from a year or a year from now is watching this video. But the iPhone 7 Plus is leading the market right now when it comes to peak bench score. But it's not even about that. It's about how well Apple optimizes the, their smartphone. You know, because they completely blend up the hardware and the software together to the point where you get performance that's unbeatable by any rivaling a flagship maker out there, including Samsung. And surprisingly, the Apple 6S has been kicking Samsung down for a long time. So don't be surprised when you see the scores for the iPhone 7 Plus. And I just wanted to include the iPhone 6 Plus just because, you know, this was Apple's first smartphone with the largest screen. And, you know, it's one of the really good phones out there still. And there's so many still in circulation and I still see so many people using it uh, and very happy with the performance of the iPhone 6 plus even with iOS 10 it doesn't lag as much of course you could notice it for those of us that go from you know up to a yearly going from the 6 to the 6s plus I can see the difference in performance when it comes to you know what happens with the uh, <coughs> overall performance of the phone like visualizations and stuff like that or overall uh, uh, app launching and things like that so I can see the difference but the average Joe is very happy with even the hardware in the iPhone 6 plus just because Apple has optimized it so much we're just going to ignore the low power mode on the iPhone 7. I hope that doesn't affect too much of our performance. But let's see, even 20% and we didn't turn on the low power mode. So we should be able to still get solid numbers uh, when compared to the other two. But also to give you an overall look at what the iPhone 7 Plus is capable of. And the most exciting part is this one has 3 gigs of RAM. The iPhone 7, the regular one, 4.7 inch, does not. So it's the first time Apple has varied uh, between the seven or the, between the generation but the same generation models by offering the 7 plus with 3 gigs of RAM versus with the iPhone 6s plus and the iPhone 6s that both had 2 gigs of RAM so 3 gigs of RAM when it comes to video editing and things like that is it, it, uh, where it provides its advantage otherwise the iPhone 6s is still an amazing smartphone as well and uh, people doing the majority of things especially like you know, encoding video for so that you can use the 4k function on as well and for gaming the iPhone 6s plus still is an amazing phone for that as well and other uh, heavy applications but we got the score so here it is now we're just waiting for our uh, last last generation iPhone 6 plus to catch up it seems like we got a another 30 seconds or so or maybe less but let's start with the iPhone 7 plus 3403 is a single core and 5549 now there's not too many phones on the market that are shooting that high but remember it's not all about just the numbers at the end of the day when it comes to user experience that's what I always say that counts the most beyond these numbers these are just for people that just want to talk about basically how fast their phone is or just to see where the phone stacks up in the in, in, in you know uh, in the world against other smartphones and devices and things like that but overall this is just part one of the picture that came for iPhones so given how powerful this phone is you know what to expect when you use it when you use your favorite applications and whatnot and then we have the iPhone 6s plus that did really well with the multi-color score of 4153 but here's a cool thing look at this the iPhone 6 plus multi-core score is 2524 that means the iPhone 6s 
is twice as fast. So it's got a single core score of what the iPhone 6 Plus is getting multi-core. But here's another performance. This is almost 70% improvement. Close to that. Maybe my math is a little bit off, but in single core, that's still a huge improvement when you compare that. And it's, the iPhone 7 Plus is almost as good as the multi-core processor or multi-core score of the iPhone 6S Plus. So you can see where Apple makes the improvements. And, and you know what? You're not going to get this kind of performance with another device that has the same type of processor or quad core as an example, or even just two gigs of RAM because you're getting a lot more for your three gigs of RAM here, two gigs of RAM here, and even over here with your one gig of RAM. I know there's a lot of Android phones. I won't go into uh, exactly brand names right now for that reason, but there's a lot of phones that are performing under with three, two to three gigs of RAM when it comes compared to the iPhone 6 or the 6S. So with half as much, these phones are doing amazing. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed my review or just a look at what these phones stack up against each other and possibly against the other phones on the market. But uh, this is my opinion about these phones, everything I've said in the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think uh, about the iPhone 7 Plus. Those of you on the iPhone 6 Plus, give me some new reasons why you guys upgraded besides the amazing camera that this phone has and, and the boost in performance. Um, and uh, one of my favorite things is like I said the camera is my favorite thing and also the display and, and even though the home button's a little hard to get used to but I, I found it that it's not too bad only problems I always had like others have pointed out when you're wearing gloves that the capacitated touch part of the iPhone 7 plus home button doesn't really respond so you have to take your gloves off so besides that I love the performance I love how fast it is I love how fast it loads applications and the camera I finally got the portrait uh, mode by the way guys make sure you update your iOS uh, on the iPhone 7 plus if you guys have already to the latest to try out the portrait mode it's amazing so thanks for watching my video I hope you guys enjoy it uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below please rate comment subscribe and let me know if you guys want me to compare to another phone or any other video you guys want me to make more than happy to do that and uh, if you guys need any unlock services make sure you check out my website samunlock.net uh, take care until next time.